Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Tazer War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one here is going to be another quick hit, straight to the point. I'm in the book of 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, and I'm going to start here at the 5th verse. It says, Examine yourselves, whether ye be of the faith, prove your own selves, know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. Okay, except ye be reprobates. All right, so the title of this lesson would be Examine Yourselves. Okay, examine yourselves. And, you know, I would say every time so often, but really, you know, being that we're in this, this uh, time of beginning of Jacob's trouble, you know, you should really be examining yourself every day. All right, not so often, but examining yourselves and the things that you do and the moves and decisions you make. All right, it says, examine yourselves, either uh, whether ye be of the faith. And why you have to examine yourself because, you know, you have to see are you in ordinance with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his program. Okay. Now the Lord warned us and told us things and he prepares us through these scriptures. He warns us. The scriptures say before things spring up, I tell you of them. Okay. The Lord told us that a great evil is coming. All right. Pezzalous times. Sedition among men. All right. You're going to have Esau, Edom coming down, having great wrath because he knoweth that he have for a short time. All right. He said, when these things come to pass, look up. So. On a larger asset, uh, you know, in a larger scale, you know, with everything the Lord told us, you should be examining yourself, you know, seeing whether, you know, you could do more videos for your how about Shimmy Shai during the week, examining yourselves to see whether you're doing a little more things carnally. Then you're doing things that's of the faith. All right. Because remember, uh, Paul said in the, in the last verse of uh, Romans 14, if it's not of faith, then it's sin. All right. Now, you know, doing things, you know, in the world, which is not against the law, does it make it sin? No. But it's no gain unto you. As Solomon said, it's all vanity. All right. Being in this uh, flesh, it's all vanity. Except. You know, you are in the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah building upon your spiritual bank account. All right. By doing these works, seeking out that penny as the Lord promised us. OK, so it says examine yourselves. Now, this word examine. Let's um, I want to go into it. Paratio, paratio is the Greek word. And it says to try whether a thing can be done. All right. Hold on. All right. Excuse me for that. It says um, to to try whether a thing can be done to attempt endeavor to try, make trial of test. All right. So another word for examine is is test. OK. Make trial of test for the purpose of ascertaining his quality or what he thinks or how he will behave himself. All right. So examining yourselves is how you behave yourself. Are you behaving yourself accordingly to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Um, I want to get a quick precept real quick. You know, I saw this earlier when I was uh, setting up, uh, you know, to do a show. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. A good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death than the day of one's birth. All right. So it says a good name is better than precious ointment. You know, you examine yourself to see, you know, you ask, you ask yourself, you know, do you have a good name in this truth? Do you have a good name in this truth toward the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah amongst the brethren? All right. It says a good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death than, the one, than of one's birth. All right. So I just wanted to put that, bring that up. But uh, let's get back to uh, the word examine. It says um, to try, make trial of tests. All right. So you got to test yourself. You got to, you know, test yourself. And um, by, you know, you test yourself by meditating, man, by praying, you know, always, um, um, you know, 
being humble in this truth. All right. You know, we're not perfect, but guess what? You know, we strive to, to be perfect. All right. Which which I want to get here in the scripture is going to go into it. It says to try make trial love tests for the purpose of ascertaining his quality or what he thinks or how he would behave himself. So you should be, you know, looking at yourself, you know, and how you behave. You know, do you behave orderly in fashion of ordinance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Do you behave uh, uh, orderly amongst the brotherhood here, you know, in the camp? amongst your brethren right it says in a good sense okay it says in a bad sense to test one's maliciously craftily to put to proof his feelings of judgment to try or test one's faith all right and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai you know our apostles and elders they they test one's faith because they examine you all right you go through an examine period Okay, that's just like, um, you know, just for since I had uh, just answered a question on the comment board, you know, for you, if you watching, I forgot the channel name, you know, you know, guys want to join the camp. Well, here at Great Millstone. All right. The camps are closed, man. All right. And even if you would join, you would have to be tried. All right. You would have to be examined. Okay. Tested, you know, because this ain't no, uh, you know, club. You know, like a country club or, you know, a gang where you could just sign up and join. All right. So it says to try or test one's faith, virtue, character by enticement to sin. All right. So these are many ways to examine yourself. It's a pretty enough there. Another word for test. I mean, it's examine what I seen earlier. Um, endeavor. Discipline, you know, at, you know, are you disciplined? You know, what are your weakness? What are your strengths? You know, we all got weakness. All right. And we all have strengths. The point is, is examine yourselves, you know, and I'm saying this and doing this lesson for myself first. All right. And hopefully it's edifying to you, brothers, that's out there listening. All right. Especially you younger brothers and, you know, brothers in the camp, especially in the, the, uh, here in Jersey. All right. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. All right. Prove your own selves. It says, Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. All right, now let's go into that word reprobate, which we know, you know, I know what that word means, but let's look it up. All right, which really means, you know, void of judgment. All right, because you got a lot of reprobates. You got men who know that they're Hebrew Israelites, but they're reprobates. All right. It says a certain, a certain one, some, sometime, a while. All right. Something, somewhat, ought, nothing. Let's see. Let's see if it give me something. Some of any purpose or object, kind of any man. All right. Sometimes you just got to dig deeper. So let's, um, Bear with me on a okay, Salakia. I just wanted to look it up here in the etymology. This is the word reprobate. All right, now reprobate it says, um, reject as worthless. All right, so if you're a reprobate, then you're worthless, you're rejected as worthless. All right, that's why the scriptures say, except ye, except ye be reprobates. It says, um, it says, uh disapproved reject condemned opposite of re reversal of previous condition all right now pro bear means to prove to be worthy okay but re means back we, we know that all right so it says meaning to disapprove all right so meaning if you're a reprobate you're not approved okay because if you were pro bear you would be proved of your worthy but if you are reprobate all right you are what disproved you know which really means to void of judgment you know god thinking that you know he's um void of judgment but really you know he's rejected you know all right so let's go back here 
It says, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine thyselves, whether ye be, of, ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Uh, know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh and Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. All right. Now, verse 6, it says, but I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. All right. So us brothers of the faith and who do examine themselves. OK, which really, you know, you're supposed to be praying. All right. Praying. We're not reprobates. All right. It says, but I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. All right. We're not rejects. OK. It says, now I pray to the most high Yahweh that ye do no evil. Not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates. All right. So if it's not being honest and truthful, you know, if you a liar. All right. Then, you know, you equivalent to being what? A reprobate. OK. It says, now I pray to Yahweh that ye do not evil. Not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest. Though we be as reprobates, right? For we can do nothing against the truth before the truth. All right. And you got the scriptures say, I quote, it says, many are called, but few are chosen. So there's a lot of men out here that have been called, but a lot of men are not the chosen. Okay. And guess what? As the scriptures say, for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So you got false prophets. There are men that are false prophets that was called into this truth. OK, and they're set up. All right. They got large congregations and they're teaching lies. They're teaching truth mixed with lies. So is they making, um, you know, making the, the uh, word of the Lord void? No. All right. It says for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. All right. So nothing can come against when you got these scoffers coming against the truth. They're not, um, you know, stopping this word. They're not stopping this, the truth or the, the word of the Lord. They're not stopping prophecy. All right. They're helping prophecy. All right. To fulfill scripture. All right. So it says verse nine, for we are glad when we are weak and ye are strong. And this also we wish even your perfection. All right. Because it's all about striving for perfection. OK, so be sincere in this truth. Be honest. All right. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove yourselves. All right. Prove yourselves, except ye be reprobates. All right. It says, therefore, I write these things being absent, least being present. I should use sharpness according to the power which the Lord have given me to edification and not to destruction. And that's why we do these shows to edify. All right. The word edify, you know, me edif edify. So it means to build. All right. To build upon what, you know, your faith. Through this word and spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, as Paul is saying here, he says, um, therefore, I write these things, not uh, things being absence, least being present. I should use sharpness according to the power which the Lord have given me to edification and not to destruction. It says, finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. It says, and be of one mind. Live in peace and the most high Yahweh of love and peace shall be with you. All right. So this, this is a quick hit. I don't want to make it too long. You know, the point of this lesson is examine yourself. All right. And I, you know, I keep want to say, you know, you're supposed to examine yourself often, but really it's supposed to be daily. Examine yourself daily. All right. We're young men in this faith. We have uh, great men above us, you know, starting with our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone. All right. And everything is done with decency and order and, and, and through the spirit and faith and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So the moral of this topic, the, uh, the lesson of this topic is examine yourself. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elects. To the, all the Lord's hopeful elects scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.